Hey everyone, we are finally back with the next part of Little Secrets. I'm excited for this one. In the last one, if we all remember, we went up to Rainer's room finally because we spilled some drinks on us and now we gotta change. We have some alone time with them, so we gotta see what spicy drama begins in this one. I'm excited. This is our last romance option. Well, I don't know about that, but this is our last, like, Target, if you will. So we've met Oliver, we met David, and then we have Prince Rainer. So let's start the drama and see what happens. I'm living for the chapter title called Party in the USA. Like, slay me, Cindy. Okay, so now that we're in our cute little dress. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, he's out here just trying to be shirtless in front of us. Like, I see what you're playing at, Rainer. There, all presentable again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know he was ready to keep that shirt uh, OMG, he's so... I mean, he's charming. He's charming and funny. European guys are really something else. Lee should be here with the dress for you soon. Entrez? I don't know. Is this Lee? Oh, here he is. Okay, bring our dress. Okay, your highness, print Charlene's dress. All right, we snatched her dress because we the queen bee now. Mercy, Lee. And we're going to take over her man. <laughs> Just a normal day in the life of Hoella. Here, I hope that will be to your taste. Let me get it out of this garment bag for you. Oh, he is a gentleman, actually. I kind of like Prince Rainer. There we go. Oh, this is a cute dress. Cindy's fashion taste is everything. All of the outfits we can do are lit. I love them. Oh my, that dress is absolutely stunning. And we're changing into it. What's the matter? I know for a fact it's brand new. Charlene never wears the same dress twice. Thank you, but are you sure, though? Your friend doesn't seem to be too happy to let me her dress. Girl, it's fine. <laughs> it's just a dress and Charlene will live. Even Rainer agrees. I don't want to be the cause of any awkwardness between the two of you. There is no two of us. Besides, we can't have you walking around in that stained dress. And Charlene doesn't need two dresses. Go on, take it. I mean, tea. <laughs> uh, okay. Like, just, let's just take it and wear it. It looks, oh, when that stain, like, it looks like almost like we got shot. I'll just leave you to try it on. I mean, considering in this store we can die, who knows? That might actually be some realness right there. All right, let's get into our new sexy dress. I'm ready. We're going to steal a man. Just a normal day. Oh, she looks so good in, like, like dark reds. Not too shabby. I wish we had picked the red lipstick now. It would have all came together, but we didn't have time. I'll call you back later. Okay, we're just alone in the room with him, so what's gonna happen next? <laughs> so how do you like it, Rainer? You look beautiful. You probably said that to all the girls who spill their wine on you. Here's my chance to speak with Rainer before he goes back to being the distant, untouchable prince. Can I ask you something? Of course. Okay, what do I want to ask him? Oh gosh, we uh, okay, we have to ask him why nobody ever seems to see him, even though he goes to the same school. It's just that I've noticed many students being excited about seeing you at this ball. Why is that? Don't they normally see you in school? Uh, okay. I keep a very low profile, or as you Americans put it, hang out with only a few close friends. But what about all your classmates? I believe my classmates have persuaded to sign confidentiality agreements not to talk about me. Wow, that sounds really lonely and a lot to take in. Okay, why is he sitting in a separate area? You seem really friendly and a genuinely nice guy. Why are you sitting in a separate area away from everybody else? I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose of attending a party, right? Wow, you don't hold back, do you? No, we don't, Raina. We're getting all the tea. Oh, I'm so sorry if that came out too. It's all right. I suppose it's a fair question. I have to attend this ball because my family is the main benefactor of this charity event. But at the same time, my mother arranged for a VIP area for the Princess Charlene and myself. Oh, she's trying to set him up. My mother is very concerned for our privacy. That doesn't sound very fun. At all, it isn't, but there you go. I am used to it. Okay, and the last question is, ask him why he doesn't seem to be enjoying his date's company. The real, the real, real. You don't seem to be enjoying your date's company. <laughs> why did you invite her as your date? If you don't mind me asking. It's mama set it up, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that obvious? Yeah, it's very obvious. We just don't like Charlene. <laughs> no one does. My mother invited Charlene to be my date. She is trying to match make us. What? Do people still do that? Apparently so, yes. Regardless, it's ungentlemanly of me if I have neglected her. I must apologize to Charlene once we are back downstairs. Oh, he's such a good guy. Okay, so we're done. I hope I haven't been too forward with my questions yet the most forward. It's quite all right. Although, don't be surprised if somebody approaches you shortly after to sign a confidentiality agreement. What? 
Apparently, Charlene has informed my mother of the little incident of the wine. Oh, no. And my mother is freaking out at this very moment. Maybe she is calling her bodyguard to barge into this room right now. <laughs> That'd be a sight to see. You joke, but that is probably exactly what she's doing right now. Well, let's hurry back then. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy we at least got to see him. Yes, I should be getting back now. Someone looks a little disappointed. Or... Ask Rainer what it is that he wants to do. What is it that you want to do? What? I mean, you can go back to sitting in your VIP area and continue having a crappy evening. Or you can have a bit of fun with us instead. You know, let loose. Have a good time. Enjoy the party like a normal student. I... Come on, just for one night. I promise I won't buy, but will we? <laughs> Do it, Rainer. We need the drama. I looked at Rainer nervously, biting my lip as he considered my invitation. <gasps> he frowned a little, then his beautiful lips curved into a slight grin. <gasps> Do it, Rainer. Do it. Do it. Lead the way. Yes. We're about to party. What's taking him so long? Would you like me to get you a drink, princess? I don't want a drink. I want Rainer to come back this instant, girl. You throw in a temper tantrum and Rainer ain't coming back to you. What is it? Are we out? It's Rainer with her. It is. That's right. Look shook. Look shook, you flops. Hey, guys. Is it okay if Rainer joins us? Everyone's so shocked. That's right, we brought the party. Prince Rainer? I, of course. These are my friends, Rose and Hazel. Pleasure to meet you. Now, can I get you ladies some drinks? Oh, oh we pop in them bottles. I'm living for this party. I want to go to this party. I want to go to school. I want to have their money. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, this looks lit. I want to be at a party right now. This is popping. Oh no, that's unfortunate. This ball sucks. Wait till Queen Maureen hears about this. I'm sure, sister. Bye bye. You're a good dancer. So are you. Thank you. No, thank you for this evening. Thank you for letting me experience life like a normal person. Well, for one night at least. Oh, I, you're welcome. I can't imagine what it must be like for you. You're the first person who has treated me normally instead of some fantasy prince. If only he knew my motives. Eek. <laughs> all of a sudden, I felt very tired. Tired of all the lies. Tired of pretending to be somebody I was not. Tired of being used as some kind of weapon against these guys. Rainer, Oliver, David. They were all actually really nice people. They didn't deserve this. They didn't deserve me. What's wrong? I can't keep doing this. <gasps> Girly, no. It's, it's nothing. Nothing that I can tell you anyway. It was nice meeting you, Rainer. You've, you've been very kind to me this evening. Thank you. Wait, where are you going? Hoella. <laughs> Just said the name. Hoella. Uh, Tina, will you stop crying already? You're going to ruin your Versace dress with all that salt water. What the? Oh, they probably think he did something to us. This is awkward. Wait, Hoella. But now he's still, oh, even better. Did she just, she just run out of the ball like Cinderella? I did, Tina, I did. Gotta admit that girl knows how to make an exit. Wait, is this? I'm lost. Y'all, I'm shook. There was a girl texting back there and then the little description for the next one says, as you run out of the ball, you face some consequences. What consequences are we about to face? I'm scared. Michael about to be after us, and it's October right now when I recorded this, like, he about to don his Michael Myers mask. I'm shook. Anyway, y'all, I'm ready for the next juicy drama in the next one. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.